Torque features a quick cue system, which allows you to put up to five markers in each song that can be used to mark things like verses, choruses, intros, breakdowns, but it can also be used to just mark very specific sounds that you might want to jump to at any time during your mix. On screen, the quick uh, cue buttons are these five buttons located right below the waveform. There's five on the left deck and five on the right deck. Assigning them is simple. All you have to do is locate the music to where you would like to put a quick cue point, press set, and then press one of the quick cues. And you actually see the quick cue marker show up on screen, and it even has the little number indicating which marker it is. Now, if I just click on the quick cue marker, playback jumps to that location and immediately starts. So by you know re-triggering quick cues, we can like uh, create new rhythms and things like that. And by putting in multiple quick cue points, we can actually kind of drum some beats if we want. So we had a uh, kick drum here, and there's a snare here. Again, press set and press two, and now there's two points, one and two. The same operation can be done from the exponent uh, control surface as well. All you'd have to do is locate to a position where you would like to put in a cue point, and you use these five buttons right here on the left and these five on the right for the quick cues. As we can see, buttons one and two are already lit up. And that's because I've already saved two quick cues on this track, numbers one and two. We see that here. But that means I can assign three, four, and five still. So uh, in order to assign number three, I'm going to hold shift and press three. And on screen, we can see we now have cue marker number three on that downbeat. And I can uh, locate to number four shift four and now I've got a cue marker there and uh, just like doing it on screen tapping these buttons will cause playback to start from those locations so you can drum out new beats just like that right from these keys and in fact you can even drop a cue point while the song's playing just by holding shift and doing it in real time Just like that. You can also do the quick cues from the computer keyboard. Numbers one through five correspond to quick cues one through five on the left deck, and numbers six through zero correspond through to quick cues one through five on the right deck. So you can do the same thing there or here. We would recommend using a MIDI controller though for this kind of thing because uh, MIDI control is faster, has lower latency than using the computer keyboard. So if you want to do anything very rhythmically accurate, uh, use an exponent or something like the trigger finger and uh, control your quick cues from, the, uh, from there. To do a MIDI learn, uh, just as with everything else, just right click on the button, it turns red, and then tap the pad that you want to use to control it. Uh, I can assign all four of the pads along the bottom side of the trigger finger just by right clicking and tapping and then I can save four points to use to drum between so let me start this rolling again okay so now I have four different sounds and I can trigger them right here As you can see, the quick cues are very quick. You can actually drum beats out very fast. When all these quick cues are saved, they get saved with the song, so the next time you load that song up, all those quick cues are standing by, so you can immediately jump to your favorite place, chorus, verse, or whatever, or start drumming beats out. It's entirely up to you. Any kind of rearrangements can be done on the fly from the pads on a trigger finger, from the buttons on the exponent, or from the buttons right on your computer keyboard.